When plants and animals die, their remains enter the soil and over time turn into fossil fuels like coal, oil, and natural gas. It can be hard to recognize fossil fuel use in our modern society because we rely upon them to do so many things. They fuel our cars, they run our power plants, we burn them to create heat and energy. Over 70% of our electricity comes from burning fossil fuels. Many of us don't live near the fossil fuel plants that make our electricity, and so it can be hard to make the connection between electricity production and fossil fuels. However, we need to remember that fossil fuel use does have very serious effects on our health at both a local and global scale. So how exactly do fossil fuels impact our health? Let's walk through the steps that our society takes in order to utilize fossil fuels. We must extract, transport, and combust or burn them. Each step in this process can lead to devastating health effects. Although coal can be mined underground, most coal mining now is done through surface mining using methods like mountaintop removal. The coal industry is a dangerous place to work. Fatalities are about 11 times higher than in all other U.S. private industries. And even if a worker in the coal industry does not obtain any injuries on the job, they may still develop black lung disease from inhaling small particles of coal over time. In the oil industry, workers are also at high risk for fatal injuries. On the job, fatality rate in the oil industry is seven times higher than the average fatality rate in U.S. industries as a whole. Both coal and oil extraction wreak havoc not only on the surrounding environment, but also on those living in this environment. Oil drilling and coal mining produce water containing heavy metals like arsenic, mercury, and lead. Exposure to these toxins can result in a variety of serious health issues such as fainting, vomiting, chronic diarrhea, headaches, unknown skin infections, miscarriages, lung disease, damage to the liver, kidney, nervous system, and brain. The 2010 BP oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico garnered massive public attention. This spill leaked 210 million gallons of crude oil into the Gulf, the worst offshore oil spill in U.S. history. And although this happened almost five years ago, affected communities are still feeling its impact. Hundreds of people who volunteered to help with the cleanup have suffered prolonged effects. Chemicals and vapors from this oil can inflame the nose, throat, and lungs, and also exacerbate asthma. If absorbed into the bloodstream, the oil compounds can cause headaches and dizziness, as well as have long-term toxic effects on the brain, liver, and kidneys. Super scary health risks are also posed by hydraulic fracturing, or fracking for short, a method of drilling for natural gas. In this process, a mixture of chemicals and gases are shot down into the ground to fracture or break up shale rock, releasing natural gas. Companies claim that these chemicals are harmless because they're going so deep underground. However, this isn't the case. Fracking poses many health and safety hazards. Although fracking companies won't disclose the exact chemical mixture they're injecting into our ground, we do know that the typical mixture contains water, propens, and other scary chemicals like hydrochloric acid used to dissolve shale rock. And further research and testing has determined that there really are hundreds of chemicals in every mixture, some of which are known to cause cancer. Those working on fracking sites are exposed to this nasty slew of chemicals. Workers, spill responders, and healthcare professionals are at risk 
of coming in direct skin contact with the chemicals, not to mention are at risk of inhaling fumes. Many living close to fracking operations have even found their tap water can actually be set on fire and are getting seriously sick. Luckily, people are beginning to take a stand against fracking. Cities, states, and counties, including LA and New York, have taken measures into their own hands, passing moratoriums and bans on natural gas fracking. In total, 23 states have local moratoriums or outright bans. Although this shows we are moving forward on the issue, there is still a lot of work that needs to be done in order to address the health impacts of fossil fuels. See our next video in this series on transporting fossil fuels to learn more about the serious health impacts of this industry. You may also check out communitypower.org to learn more and get involved.